Hi guys, uh, today I'll show you how you can deploy ASP.NET application in Google Cloud. And as you can see, the, this application on my screen, I've already deployed this in one of my environment. And in this video, I'll show you all the step that you need to deploy uh, ASP.NET application in Google Cloud. I have worked with uh, Azure and uh, AWS and uh, was thinking to give a try to Google as well. And uh, being a software engineer, I decided to go with the, the, uh, the deployment of the application because most of the companies are moving to cloud and they have their existing application, they want to move to the cloud. And But currently, I'm working on the you know, one of the .NET projects, so I decided to go with the ASP.NET. And uh, in this video, we are not going to move existing application, but I'll show you uh, in how you can deploy any new application in uh, App Engine. There are a couple of ways you can deploy ASP.NET application in Google Cloud and uh, but in this video I'll be showing you using the App Engine. Uh, the most popular, two most popular uh, way to deploy any ASP.NET application uh, in Google Clouds are App Engine and Compute Engine. I'll, I'll tell you the difference between them, but uh, let's uh, first go to the Google Cloud and uh, see whatever the necessary uh, stuff we need to deploy our ASP.NET application. Once we set up that environment in Google, we'll jump back to Visual Studio and then uh, we'll deploy from there. Uh, we're not gonna create any comprehensive kind of application. We'll do whatever is available. In a Google template and we'll use the same or we might be changing some of the thing if I get a chance we'll we'll also use the data store in this one and then we'll show you how you can create the data store uh, in Google Cloud as well so let's go to the Google Cloud once you logged in you will see this kind of dashboard but if you are logging first time you don't have any project then uh, it will ask you to create a project and then you will see this kind of dashboard and on top you see these three little bars if you click on that one it's gonna pop out a menu that has all the services and uh, uh, resources available or provided by Google and this menu so app engine we are talking specifically talking about the compute engines like computing computing things so over here you can see app engine compute engine and kubernetes engine cloud functions so we are not talking about uh, anything else except the app engine but uh, as i said there, there are two most popular uh, way to deploy applications are compute engine and app engine so i can give you the difference that uh, compute engine you have the liberty to to assign your own resources you can but the drawback over here is you have to manage your resources on your own but with the app engine you don't care about what the underlying uh, virtual hardware is available you can just focus on the coding and uh, that's it and google will manage everything on behalf of you but uh, there are two kind of app engine uh, in Google Cloud, a standard app engine and app engine flex. Flex means flexible app engine. In a standard app engine, .NET framework is not available and it's more restricted. But uh, Python and Java, you can uh, you can deploy those application into app engine standard. But in app engine flex, it has uh, flexibility, it's at auto scaling, load balancing whenever you need whenever your application need any kind of uh, scalable uh, scalability it does automatically like load balancing and uh, uh, you need more cpu power it can does and there's another flexibility in this environment that you can choose the operating system as well so in this video we are going to use app engine flex because app engine standard does not support dotnet framework and only app engine flex is going to support the dotnet framework so we'll be using app engine flex so before before going into visual studio let me show you how you can set up that environment over here as i said that in google you have to bring everything under one project 
you have to create the project and then after that you can assign resources and uh, services to that project so first you have to create the project and uh, then you can assign or create the compute engine app engine data storage bit tables and uh, whatever the service you need you can you can combine them into 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 one project or under one project project you can you can think of like a like a folder on a on your computer if let's suppose you have project one and anything related to project one you can you can keep those files or uh, the images and uh, anything that's that's belongs to that project under that folder same concept over here you create one project and then whatever the resources attached to that project you can you can you can hook up those services and uh, resources under that project so first we'll go over here and uh, you can see that uh, i have already created three projects over here and uh, if you want to create any new project you can click on create new project over here we are going to deploy dotnet so i'm gonna say deploy deploy uh, dot net application uh, you have to application application you have to select the unique project name if anything is conflicting or you already exist in your in your google cloud uh, it's gonna complain right away then you can make the changes and uh, and uh, uh, make it unique so once you have uh, selected the project name, you can click on create project. Once you have create project, now you can see I have that project. Click on this button, it's still running. Let it be completed. It's pretty fast, but in my uh, environment, I think my internet is slow. So that's why it's taking a little time, but it's very fast. Oh, so as you can see that it's ready when I click on this one. Now you can see the dashboard is available for this project. So as I said, you have three bars. Click on this one. We'll go and go to App Engine. And once you click on that App Engine, you will see this page. And over here, you can select language. I can say .NET over here. And uh, you have to select the region. <laughs> we are in the eastern part so i can go east one and i say next you're gonna create all your services required by this resource um, now your environment is uh, ready and uh, let me cancel i don't need this uh, just cancel this one and now your environment is ready in google cloud let me go back to uh, api and services over here whatever the services you have uh, uh, set up for your projects yeah those services are available over here we are not discussing anything about over here what these apis are and how you can set up those api enable them and disable them the only concern is the credential why we need this one i'll show you in the visual studio but first i'm going to show you how you can create the the credential for your application because we need them in uh, Visual Studio. Before going this server, let me explain you one more thing. When when you click on the credential and you will see create credential. As you can see, API key, auth client ID, and service account ID. Uh, usually, or uh, basically, it's it's a best practice to have service account key for for application uh, uh, application means application level security should have the service account key and uh, user level authentication should have auth client id and uh, anything that's uh, related uh, there is no authentication required then you need to have a api key 
in our case we we want to have the authentication but uh, only for the application so every time application can use the same authentication method because the application is available for all the clients or all the users they don't need to enter a separate uh, uh, user id and password but if you are going by a database resources or or uh, giving uh, a particular area of the application um, giving access uh, to a particular area of the application then you should use auth client id but in our case i'm going with this service account key click on level we're gonna select app engine default service account and uh, we'll leave the json because uh, we're gonna download this it's gonna download automatically this files and for now close this one and uh, we'll, we'll save this file now next part of this video is to show you how you can create application in visual studio and from there you can publish that uh, application in app flux engine we have set up app whatever we did over here we just create a container kind of thing for our application so once we go to the visual studio from there we can publish under this container and then i'll show you and whatever the features are available in uh, 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 .NET. so let's move on to the visual studio now we are done with the, with the google cloud setup whatever the necessary requirement for this uh, deployment we have done with that one i've shown you that uh, how you can set up the project and under that project how you can can create a container for the app engine and uh, now we'll we will create an application in uh, uh, visual studio and uh, i'll show you how you can deploy that into into google cloud under that project that we have created uh, so far and uh, i have uh, visual studio community version visual studio 2017 before showing you the uh, the app creation i want to show you one more thing that's if you go to the tool click on tool and create on extension update over here just install this uh, plugins once you have installed this plugin because i've already installed so i'm not gonna install it again i'm just closing this one and then you will have this uh, sidebar menu over here you will have the google app engine google compute engine and uh, all others uh, thing that you can uh, you can design within uh, visual studio but uh, as we said that we're gonna focus on the uh, app engine so over here uh, the first thing i want to show you this project as i showed you that we we have uh, we had three projects in our google cloud so all three projects are showing up over here but uh, for this demo i specifically created this project so i'm gonna select this one under this project whatever the resources or services are available gonna show up over here in this and uh, we don't have any app engine service available right now so, and we are going to de deploy this asp.net then it's gonna show up over here and uh, and we don't have any computing engine and uh, by default when you create any project it does create two buckets for the for the storage so those two buckets are these and this is the sql server and pubmed sub so now go to new project under this project when you click on c sharp you should have this google cloud platform under this google cloud platform you can select this template and then we can say gcp project uh, uh, demo you can say demo click on this one i'll leave the repository as is and then here you go and it's gonna ask you this and i'm gonna create this dotnet 2.4 it's an mvc application project has already been selected the reason it's showing up over here because we have selected over here that is what's showing this is why it's showing the right project over here and now nah, boom now we have this uh, 
application created as i said that we are not going to make any change to so this application will deploy as is but uh, before deploying let's run this uh, locally click ios and then it's gonna run into internet explorer or oh, maybe chrome uh, so, oh internet explorer okay yeah this is the one that i want to show you if in if we run this application in computing engine or app engine by default google has the credential available as a environment variable and the name for that environment variable is this but in our environment we don't have this uh, environment available so what we have to do first we have to set up this environment variable into visual studio and then we'll be able to run this application locally so let me show you how we can do this let me copy this thing i've already copied this one but uh, let me copy from here let's see if in case uh, i make mistake made mistake so let's stop this project click on this one go to properties and properties go to debug over here we can as you can see environment variable i can click on this one paste this variable and we have this variables already copied over here for this demo i can go there and paste it and also have this json you remember we created a service account key and for that we downloaded one json file i renamed that json file to secret underscore key and dot json and now that's it we are done just save this one and run this again now it should run here you go now you have this project ready you can see in this local environment and everything's working perfectly no issue let's turn this off and then right click on this one and I say publish to Google Cloud as you can see there are two options available and if you are creating the .NET application in a standard way not not going to use the a Google template then you won't find these two option enabled the only option at that time will be available computing compute engine because any .NET standard application uh, which is not uh, designed by using Google template it has to go on the compute engine then you have to set up the uh, virtual machines uh, that can support that uh, sp.net and uh, then you can deploy from here right now as I have shown you that we have created that environment already in Google Cloud app engine we just need to select the app flex and over here version name and publish now the deployment is completed and uh, as you can see this this is deployed under the the project that we we create it uh, and that's it i'm sure you enjoy this video and i uh, hope that you will like it okay thanks